there if you've got one of these uh, condenser dryers then you may notice over a period of time that they start to become less efficient now that's because they have a number of filters that can actually get blocked now one of the filters is down here uh, and that one can be blocked with fluff and they should be regularly cleaned so basically remove that clean it when the air goes down here the moist air it arrives in a condenser unit here which you can access by pulling that across so you condenser units in this area here now you can see the arrows will which in this case which is the smeg will allow me to turn it and then retract and you can see what it looks like it's full of all the junk that you don't want to have now i'm going to just break over we're going to take this unit uh, over and i want you to have a look down there you'll see that over there that it also gets further clogged around the back as well okay and we'll come back to cleaning that later that's the unit out and you can see there's a wet patch down here that indicates that it's actually condensing and the the water is just dripping below onto the the bottom unit that's not ideal but the good news is this area here is nice and black and clear that means that the filter is doing its job which is protecting the actual condenser unit now that's a really tricky one to clean because it's full of little blades that allows the water to condense onto it so i'm going to press this open button here i'm going to have a look to see what's on the other side what the filter is doing so as i said the filter is doing a pretty good job i'm not happy about this wet patch there because as i say that means that the water's condensing on here it's actually cooling on this pad and dropping down before it hits the before it, it filters through into the blades the condenser blades so you can see this is just full of filtered dust etc and it's got a whole bunch of stuff that you just don't want to be here this will be all the dregs of everything that like popcorn seeds that which you mean in, in kids pockets etc all collects in here if it's made it through the washing machine so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clean this area up clean this pad and uh, allow it to dry once it's dry like fully dry what you can do and you've got an example here what you can do is you can use a vacuum cleaner just to on a hose pipe to actually just suck out this remainder because you'll still get some bits stuck on here um, so you basically get a, uh, a hoover and basically suck out this area so i'm going to do this one later on uh, but at the point just now i'm going to clean this up wash that and clean out this area okay and we'll come back to this so that's the foam pad out and on it was caked on the the fibers of uh, maybe about two three hundred wash loads so it's actually quite condensed onto it it's aggressively stuck onto this foam padding and if you try to pull it away you'll probably damage the foam padding so what i'm doing is i'm soaking it in water and then i will just gently rub away this stuff and you'll see it all just coming away quite nicely uh, quite easily so it's going to take a little bit of time for that to soak uh, and we're going to get this as clean as we possibly can do now it's always a good idea to have two of these foam padding so you never uh, feel rushed to get this back into the into the uh, condenser dryer thank you so much and there you go that's your filter put back on and try and keep the cleaner side to the, the outside so that's a part which is uh, going towards the filter try and keep it that way so that um, the the dirty air is sucked in from the the dirtier side and goes towards that filter so you want to try and keep this as clean as possible so the this uh, foam by the way is a special type of foam so it allows it doesn't filter everything it allows the the, the moisture to go through and i hope that's been useful to you uh, a couple of things to note is just to make sure that these edges are not damaged there's no gaps that uh, that air can bypass through and all you've got to do is press it down and fit it and that's you done your filter you should notice improvements in your in your condensation thereafter take care thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to the channel